And Kauai is in the lead as the islands switch out fossil fuels for renewable energy. But in the words of Kermit the Frog, it's not easy being green. Ben Gutierrez is here with our top story tonight. Ben? The delivery of locally produced and affordable biodiesel on Kauai is being hailed as a big step toward meeting the goal of 100% renewable energy statewide by 2045. But some neighbor islands are having more challenges than others in getting toward that goal. We're receiving our first shipment of biodiesel from Pacific Biodiesel. The Kauai Island Utility Cooperative took delivery of the locally produced fuel at its Kapaya Power Generation Station, the utility's largest electric generator. It can already be used in the utility's existing generators, and it's helping to boost Kauai's use of renewable energy, which is already up to 60% on average. Right now, about 40% of our generation comes from solar. Um, about two-thirds of that is utility scale and the other third is rooftop. Here on Kauai, we're currently operating the grid at 100% renewable on most sunny days for uh, up to as long as 10 hours at a time. KIUC wants to meet its 100% renewable energy goal in just 10 more years. It's already ahead of the state as a whole. Overall, as a statewide average, we're at 33%, which is really high. I mean, we're a third of the way. Uh, to the ultimate goal. The state's chief energy officer says while Kauai leads the state in using sources other than fossil fuels, the island of Hawaii isn't far behind, with nearly half of its energy from sources like geothermal. But one possible additional source, the wood-burning Honua Ola biomass plant, was blocked by the PUC and the state Supreme Court. Maui was at 36 percent, with big challenges just ahead also has to deal with some aging power plants. So we're going to be working very closely with Hawaiian Electric to um, see what we can do to sort of fill the gap of that firm power uh, that's going to go away in 2027. It's a win for Pacific Biodiesel, which recycles used cooking oil from restaurants. It also grows sunflowers and other crops that ultimately become fuel. It's the, it's the circular economy that we're working towards, you know, where we, we grow it, we make it into food first, you know, that culinary oil and and animal feed and, and then back around to the biodiesel and Koi is also planning a pump storage hydroelectric project which could begin construction next year. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.